Oh, I so can't wait to open this bad boy up. Smell these things. Yes, sir. Yo, they try to tell me that I'm tripping. Got the mind of a winner. You don't know the difference. See that hate up in your eyes, little buddy. What you sipping? Oh, you think I'm out of bounds? Then go ahead, blow the whistle. I can't help but turn the heat up. Let them watch me sizzle. Trying to figure me out. That's a complicated riddle. Got an outside game and I still can't work. So that's his name. He's a black perfumer. So let's see what I got seen in. What I got seen. So forgive me, guys. I'm doing this all with one hand. Because I'm not both handed or ambidextrous. That's him on the back in his fragrances. And these are the fragrances I was sent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I got them unwrapped for you. So let's see what I received in the discovery set. So let's start off with Sweet Taboo. Let's focus in for you guys. All right. So with this here, what interests me is the coffee roast and the incense from Somalia extract. Um, it also comes with cardamom and vanilla. So I can't wait to sample this one. I think this one is going to smell so great off my skin. It almost sounds sensual, but like I said, the incense from Somalia is what has my attention. So I can't wait to check that out. The next one is going to be Tokyo Blue. Now, what caught my interest about this is that it has Lang Lang. So, Y-L-A-N-G, Y-L-A-N-G. I'm not too sure what that is either, but that is interesting. So, I'm going to be rocking that to see how that projects off my skin and works on me. It also has, I believe, Mimosa and, what else, Musk as well. So, I think this bad boy is going to be a banger. The next one is going to be I believe it's autumn autumn rhythm there you go so with this bad boy the green tea orris and the leather note I don't think I have a combination of those notes in any other fragrance so just seeing what that's going to be like is interesting so I can't wait for this one either the next one is going to be oud galore so with this one, I believe it has geranium. And then what interested me is that it has a note from Egypt. I believe it's, yeah, geranium from Egypt, I believe it is. And then also, too, it has Kapura Bomb. And I may be saying that wrong, but I'll go ahead and leave that on the screen as well so you see what I'm talking about. You guys are more educated than I am, probably, or, you know, more fluent in different languages. So help me out with this one, guys. So there you go. The next one, I believe, is Harlem Nights. Yep, there you go, Harlem Nights. So what I enjoyed about this one, I've worn this one already. I sampled this one. So what I love, I literally feel like Eddie Murphy and Harlem Nights. Like, <laughs> I kid you not, suited up in a blues or a jazz club, you got the tobacco going, the cognac flowing, or the rum, whatever you're drinking that night. Oh, I love this. And my lady, she usually doesn't like, you know, leathery um, tobacco fragrances, but she really, really enjoyed this one. So I'm definitely getting me a bottle of this. Last but not least is going to be, I believe it's Dunce Sauvage. Ooh. Where's the name? There you go. Let's see if it focuses for you guys. Oh, there we go. All right. So, in this bad boy, it's pretty much cognac and plum. That's what caught my attention. I've seen it in other fragrances. I want to say... Um, I want to say... It's by Lacoste. They have a gin and plum fragrance. I can't think of the name right now. But when it comes to me, I'll leave it in the comments or in the description somewhere. So, yeah. So, that was my discovery set. 
from World of Chris Collins. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description as well and also in the video. So hopefully you enjoyed my unboxing. It's not a first impression yet, but once I start testing these, you would see those as well. So thank you for your time. I enjoyed everything that I received and peace and blessings.